remember the most painful loss or the one moment. Is yours most painful the loss to Jay? Jay come on! My most painful was uh, losing to uh, Lee Reese. 97 Iron Man Pro. I quit for like a minute. five times that year or two more, the year before, to Priest. It was like five different events that had happened to him. I was five times depressed. What bothered you about losing to Lee out of everybody? He was a little guy. I was the big guy. Turn pro to winning the Olympia. because it didn't matter how tall you were, how big you were, Franco would destroy you on stage. And he beat all the big guys. And by winning the Mr. Olympia and winning Mr. Universe and winning Mr. World and Mr. International and all those competitions, he has proven that a short man, a smaller man, can also win those big championships. It took a long time to reach my goals and all my dreams, you know, I had a lot of dreams of being the best in the world. And every time I would compete, they'd say to me, Dan, you look pretty good, but you're short. But bodybuilding was my passion. And I feel like I'm six foot four. So part of that mentality helped me to be so successful. Everyone doubted me. They said, hey, your career's over. You're too small. There's no way he's gonna put the muscle on that. He's never gonna win a pro show. You're never gonna be a good pro. You should just quit. I've always been that guy that I'll do whatever it takes to win. You know, and, and to be my absolute best. It's never bothered me when I stood on stage near Coleman or Anyone, Marcus Rue, Paul Dillette, 
I didn't even think, oh shit, he's taller than me. I don't care about it. Just be you. Be the best you can be. And the title. 6'1's got the same measurements as someone 5'4. Mohamed Benaziza. Please welcome the giant killer, David 